Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow911. In today's video, we are discussing error handling in Flow Designer. So let's go to my instance. Let's go to Flow Designer. Uh, this is my simple Flow Designer where I have used uh, error handling. So you see here, there is a trigger, two actions, and then error handling is true. So you see the message here if any error occur in your flow, the actions you add here will run. Okay. So if there is an issue with any of this uh, action, if there is any error in these actions, these two steps will run, okay, three and four. So once you enable error handling, two things you have to check. You see here for every action, you see this one, lookup incident, lookup record, there is some action status, okay. Again, for next action, number two, update incident, again, there is one action status. It means it will return whether your action is successful or not, okay? Message is common, like what is the message, whether it's successful or not. Whereas this code will provide you the exact situation, whether it is a true or false, whether there is an error or not. If the action code returns one, it means there is an error. And if the action code returns zero, it means there is no error okay so this is what we have to define in this error handling okay so let me open the trigger first of all very basic trigger it is uh, triggering whenever there is an update in the linux server table then we have this action number one let me open it so here i am finding out incident record where the description is xyz so i have deliberately using this condition so that it will return some error it will not return any record okay so after we get the record then we have the action number two which is update incident record as simple as that okay so here i am updating the work node of that particular server so now let's go to the third one where we are checking if condition let me open that so from action number one i have captured the code right you see here one lookup record then action status then code it means lookup record action status and code this one so i have dragged this one so let me show you by dragging it so this is my first one drag the code so you see same code is coming here okay just remove this okay so if the code is one that is if there is some error okay i told you one means some error okay then execute this log the fourth one so here i'm just printing the log okay the log is again the message which i am getting from the very first action okay the same one lookup record action status and message done so now let's check it let's test it so now let me select uh, one uh, server record let's select this one as obvious i will not found any incident with that particular subject because there is no incident okay so now run it your test is finished let's check the execution so you see here it is completed but there is an error error caught where we got the error in the lookup record in the very first action as the error comes here second will not run and it will immediately come here in the error handling and it will evaluate true that's what we did and it has completed the action so now let's check more in detail so one equal to one it means the error code was one okay so now let's check the log what log it printed it printed the message no record found so that's how we use error handling in flows i hope you understand the concept let us know if you have any doubt subscribe to the channel share it with your friends and families thank you so much bye bye